It was Sir Francis Drake who once said, It isn't that life ashore is distasteful to me, but life at sea is better. His words certainly rung true on our return to Grenada. We had just spent an enjoyable few days delivering the katana for Dream Yacht Charters, and they had generously flown us back to Grenada where Lucky Fish sat on the hard stand. However, that is where the fairy tale ended. Toya's first time driving again after four months? Five months? Yes. Driving on the left hand side of the road. There's the wheels on the right side. So far so good. We hired a car to see some of the island and organise flights home. We were plunged straight back into reality. Okay. No, just calling from Grenada. Return flights home to Mongolia were heavily booked. On top of that, it would take five weeks to get the girls' transit visas for a measly three-hour stopover in London just so they could travel from Gatwick to Heathrow for their connection. Without the visas, we lost the air tickets with no refunds. Oh, 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 sorry, but then because I to keep a missing her. Oh, she is on the phone, I'm sorry. That's fine. She is on the phone. Thank you yeah, so much. Yeah, yeah, she's there. I argued with travel agents. I argued with Barbadian and Grenadian immigration authorities. I argued with various Caribbean airlines and learned more than I wanted to know about corruption within one of them. Yeah, thanks, thanks. Yeah, okay. But it's on the phone. So maybe what you can do is probably call back in about 15 minutes. Yes, I will. I'll, Hello? I'll, yes, I'll call in 15. Thank you. Yes, okay, all right. See you now, bye-bye. I don't know why it keeps ringing like that, but it must be a Skype thing or a there thing. <sighs> it was a rude shock after the utter freedom we had grown used to. In the end, there was no one to blame but me. I should have seen all this coming. We rented the cheapest apartment we could find and made the best of it. After all, there are far worse places to be stuck than Grenada. Are you enjoying your apartment? No. You got beautiful kitchen. I got great flatmates and a shit flat. We took a drive up to Lavara Beach on the north coast to see the leatherback turtles. It was May and breeding season. We were treated to the sight of two huge females digging nests and laying eggs. And to cap it off, one hatchling showed himself as we were returning along the beach. I had been pondering these extraordinary animals and why they spend almost their entire life at sea, yet invest so much effort returning to land to lay eggs. Then it struck me that they must have once lived entirely on land, then evolved to live in the sea, only requiring land for the function of reproduction. I marvelled at evolution and asked the guide if this was indeed the evolutionary path for sea turtles. Well, she set me straight and told me they can't lay eggs in the sea as they would wash away. I guess evolution is still a theory in some parts of the Caribbean. We took the car for a drive into the interior through the Grand Atang National Forest and into the high mountains. Red, gold and green and I think the whole nation's the rest of the area. 
Here we found Rosemount House, a remarkably well-preserved timber home dating back to the days of slavery. The owners of this tropical fruit, herbs and flower plantation, Mr and Mrs Duncan, made us feel very welcome and gave us a lesson in making chocolate and the fascinating recent history of the island. We crack them open, we crack it open, we pull it, we take all the seeds, we ferment them for eight days. Make the seeds ferment them, yeah. Fermented, after it has been fermented, yeah. we put them out to dry. After they dry, you uh, patch them or bake them. Mm -hmm. You remove the thin skin on it. Yes. You add other spices. Mm -hmm. You grind them. Mm -hmm. A little nutmeg, a little and cinnamon back, a little lime. Um, and then you, yeah, you get the real chocolate right that you can drink. Yeah. Here, I'm going to crack this one. This is the cocoa bean. Mm, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can also take one. You can soak on it. Mm. Soak on that. You can soak on it. Don't yeah. bite it. If you bite it, you're going to be bitter because it's yeah. raw chocolate. Yeah. Chocolate You can also make juice with it. Mm -hmm. Slightly blend it with water. Try one. And then um, you do juice. Cocoa juice. Don't bite it. Mm. You might think it's going to be bitter. It's bitter because mm. it's raw chocolate. Mm. Yes, What's in the name? When I was a boy, we used to soak a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. We used to swallow it too. Mm. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh, thank you for that. That's a real treat, yeah. Mm -hmm. Lucas. Lucas. Yeah. But the Grenadian name, they call it stinking too. Thinking too. Yeah. Okay. As in Grenada, we call it that way, but yeah. the botanical name is Lucas. Yes, yes, yes. Um, and now you're going to tell us why it's called stinking too, yeah? It's, <laughs> it's, a, it's a hard shell. Ah, uh, yes. You break open into it and uh, allow you to taste it if you want to. No, uh, I don't know about this. It's like lip powder, you know? This is our seed. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I like it. Americans, wasn't it? Yeah, Americans, Americans got bigger than. Well, we, we were in a chaos at that time, really. Yes. What uh, really happened? <laughs> we were under a revolutionary um, government. Yes. Bishop right. overthrew the Gary government mm -hmm. in 79. Mm -hmm. And uh, he led out as a Marxist. Mm -hmm. But he was really thinking of the country. Mm -hmm. He was not thinking of his party really, he was right. thinking of the country mm -hmm. and he was looking to see how he can develop the country better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr Duncan went on to explain how Maurice Bishop was Prime Minister for four years. He envisioned a moderate socialist future for Grenada, but was executed in 1983 at the height of the Cold War. Six days later the USA under Ronald Reagan led a military invasion of the island and Grenada went back to the poles. Grenada's international airport was the brainchild of Maurice Bishop and it's named after him. But uh, we think we need to go back to work unfortunately. If we had the choice, <laughs> we'd stay here. <laughs> yeah, of course.
Yes. How's packing going? Come in. Get those mozzies. <laughs> How's packing going? All good. All done. Mm-hmm. Uh, almost. What's yeah, missing? <laughs> Usual crap bags, computer still not put away. Last thing, as always, air conditioner also last thing. Dinner is being prepared, the last of the food. Snorkeling gear to go back to the boat. Things relatively under control. Well, we finally did get those flights sorted and made one final trip to Lucky Fish before returning to Mongolia and work. Surrounded by masts. Goodbye, lucky fish, until next year. Hey everyone, next week we have a special treat lined up. But, um, um, that was the inspiration for Tangaroa. Yeah. Uh, what is it? Yeah. No. Oh, it oh. It's the same model. It's the same model, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes. Now the number's the inspiration, but the reality is. Make sure you don't miss the great man himself, as he and Hanukkah Boone talk to us about his life, his boats, and the latest designs from the Warham Design Office. We hope you enjoyed this episode and would like to help us make more productions. If so, please don't forget to subscribe and consider becoming a patron for as little as a dollar a video. Thank you for watching. The Katana is, however, one of the best performing catamarans upwind, and this is by Once far. Once we left the coast of Africa, there would be no turning back until we arrived in the Caribbean. The first leg would be 1,200 nautical miles.